Hello and welcome to another training module from Cloudmasters Inc. This is a follow-up to the introduction to IT auditing and compliance training we shared. Now let's explore IT auditing processes and best practices. This module provides an in-depth exploration of the IT auditing process, emphasizing the importance of adhering to best practices for conducting thorough and effective audits. The primary objective is to cultivate a structured, practical comprehension of the key stages involved in an IT audit, ranging from meticulous planning to comprehensive reporting. Additionally, this module highlights the fundamental principles that steer auditors throughout the entire auditing process. Taking an in-depth look at the risk-based audit approach. This risk-based audit focuses on identifying areas that pose the highest risk to the organization's objectives. This approach involves 1. Risk identification. Identify possible risks within IT systems such as unauthorized access, system downtime, or compliance failures. 2. Risk assessment. Use a risk matrix to evaluate the potential impact and likelihood of each risk. For instance, Risks can be categorized as high, medium, or low based on their potential to disrupt operations or lead to financial losses. 3. Risk Mitigation Planning Based on the risk assessment, auditors recommend controls or actions to reduce the organization's exposure. Effective risk mitigation ensures that the organization's information systems remain secure and reliable. Continuous Auditing and Emerging Trends IT auditing is continuously evolving as organizations adopt new technologies. There are several emerging trends in the field that auditors need to be aware of. 1. Artificial intelligence and automation in auditing. The use of AI tools enables auditors to automate repetitive tasks, allowing them to focus their time and resources on more complex analysis and decision-making processes. 2. Auditing in blockchain environments. With the increasing adoption of blockchain technology, auditors must develop expertise in assessing the integrity of blockchain systems and smart contracts. 3. Enhanced focus on privacy audits. Privacy regulations such as GDPR and CCPA are expanding, necessitating auditors to ensure that organizations implement and maintain robust data privacy protections. These emerging trends represent the evolving landscape of IT auditing and highlight the need for auditors to stay updated with new technologies and regulations. Let's try some sample quiz questions based on IT auditing processes and best practices with their answers and explanations. Quiz questions and answers. Question 1. What is the first step in the IT audit lifecycle? A. Reporting. B. Audit planning, C. Fieldwork, D. Follow-up. The correct answer is B. Audit planning. Audit planning is the initial phase of the audit lifecycle where auditors define the scope, set objectives, and identify key areas of focus based on risk assessments. Planning is crucial to ensure the audit is conducted efficiently and covers all critical areas. Without planning, the subsequent steps, fieldwork, reporting, and follow-up, may lack direction, IIA. Question 2. Which of the following best describes a risk-based approach to auditing? A. Testing all systems and controls equally. B. Focusing only on high-risk areas. C. Auditing all departments on a rotating schedule. D. Randomly selecting systems to audit. The correct answer is B, focusing only on high-risk areas. A risk-based approach prioritizes audit activities based on the likelihood and impact of risks. Auditors concentrate on the areas where the organization faces the greatest threats, ensuring resources are used effectively to mitigate potential issues. The correct answer is B, data analytics software. Data analytics software such as ACL Analytics or IDEA helps auditors sift through large datasets to identify patterns, trends, and anomalies. These tools enhance the accuracy and efficiency of audits 
by automatically analyzing data for inconsistencies or risks that would be challenging to detect manually. Question 4. What is a primary benefit of continuous monitoring in IT auditing? A. It eliminates the need for manual audits. B. It allows for real-time identification of risks. C. It reduces audit costs. D. It replaces the need for field work. The correct answer is B. It allows for real-time identification of risks. Continuous monitoring involves the ongoing review of systems and controls to identify issues as they occur, rather than waiting for periodic audits. This approach is particularly beneficial in fast-paced environments where risks can emerge quickly. Question 5. Which of the following frameworks is most associated with IT governance and management? A. ISO 27001 B. COBIT C. GDPR D. SOC 2 These questions and their explanations reinforce key concepts covered in the module and help learners apply their knowledge in practical audit scenarios. Conclusion Building a future-ready IT audit function In order to achieve a successful IT audit, it is imperative to remain at the forefront of industry trends and embrace the ever-evolving technological landscape. By diligently mastering the audit lifecycle, incorporating industry best practices, and harnessing the power of cutting-edge technologies such as data analytics and artificial intelligence, auditors can deliver superior and more impactful results. Thank you, and for more videos like this, kindly subscribe, like, and share our channel.